third party situation are they just wasting my time that's what we want to know today in your third party love triangle situation when i say third party i mean the other person that's connected to your person you are not the third party because to me the third party is the other person who's connected to your person so welcome back to hope to have a daily my name is angie i'm a tarot card reader from england this tarot reading is between you the universe and your intuition it is timeless it's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it it's up to you if you claim the reading or not if you claim the reading put a like on video if you want to support the channel put a like on reading let youtube know there's a decent tarot reader over here that maybe someone somewhere may get a message from that's a random act of kindness that really makes my day to be fair so we're looking at your third party situation are they just wasting your time what's going on at the moment i'm going to be clarifying I'm going to start with the light seas tarot deck so i'm going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels offering us circular protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind down this side is you to do personal readings they're available from my website down this side down the middle is your person down the far side is the other person connected to your person you are always here if this doesn't fit then it isn't for you down the middle is the connecting energy are they just wasting your time what is going on oh dear. right wait a minute let's have a look my cat is roaming around she's particularly restless this morning i don't know why she's just like oh we've got a new routine have we it's unsettled her. <laughs> Cats are funny, aren't they? So we'll start with the Ace of Pentacles with you. Um, the first line is the recent past for everyone. Um, you've recently had the Ace of Pentacles, which was making an offering of love to your person with the Ten of Cups. You're offering them a long, happy union. They had the Tower reversed, which is... Um, kind of slow moving problems over a long period of time um it can be the need to break up foundations but it just takes it's like a slow moving car crash sometimes not an actual car crash but um yeah so the other person connected to your person i call the third party had had the four of pentacles which is whatever the tower reversed is for this they have they didn't want to let go of it so that's probably what's slowing it down the tower to me is a moment of liberation a moment of being set free a moment of taking that sledgehammer breaking up those foundations and, and rebuilding the third party didn't want to let let this go at that point um so whatever the tower moment was for your person the third party put a stop to it they're like no 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 in between them both is was the four of wands reversed which is commitment delayed things delayed house moves delayed romance delayed they'd have to put a lot more effort in to get it that way um but whatever was going on for your person the third party is like yeah no, i'm not letting go no, I'm not letting go. No, no, I'm not letting go. You were offering your person a long, happy union, long, happy commitment. And they were having a tower reverse moment of trying to break free from something. But the third party didn't want to let go. And you don't want to let go either. Well, you didn't. Now you move to the point of, are oh, they were just wasting my time? The third party is still here. There's still the pentacles. There may be an earth sign. But they're still sure about how they feel. But both of them cards are facing in the opposite way. And I'm just looking and thinking. Yeah but. Are they just holding on to something for the sake of holding on to something? 
might be the eight of wands is in between a both at the moment fast paced messages between a both or communication between a both your person's got the ace of cups at the moment and it's reversed a moment of unhappiness emotional anxiety you've got the five of wands reversed you've had enough you're just like what is going on i've offered you a long happy union with me when i offered you a long happy union with me i meant that i would be your person forever but now i'm getting the feeling that you're wasting my time because that's what the question is but the five of wands reversed it's kind of serious problems that come from nothing it can be um that like the silliest little thing turns into a volcano that causes damage and you look you sit there and think i have no idea how this has turned into this massive problem that it is because it shouldn't have because when you trace it back you think no hang on a minute this should not have caused caused this problem it could be the fallout of the tower reversed of your person it may be the emotional anxiety because the tower didn't um bring the liberation that it should have your person's going through emotional anxiety and it's it's like overspilling this way it's the lava's going down the hill and burning and and this avalanche is taking everything out over here but the third party in this is like you're my person i'm quite sure how i feel they're being quite stubborn they're like i you know this is where i am this is where i want i'm not letting go of it and it's causing a tsunami this way um, we have the Six of Cups reversed in between you both, which is the universe trying to make you both remember why you like each other. I think at the moment you're just like, oh, I can't do it. It feels stressful. It feels... I think, I think you're really questioning things because the Tower, I think, should have been a moment of moving this forward and... And it hasn't. And then you've got to think, well, how much influence has this other person got over your person? But then we have to remember that we can't just blame the other person because your person's making a choice as well. They had a moment. They had a chance. They had a moment in time where they could have run away from this. And they haven't. And that's the choice that they made. No matter what the other person does, it's still the choice, choice that they've made. No one's physically chained anywhere unless you're in prison, you know. But there's rose tinted glasses between you both at the moment. But you are having a moment of, oh goodness, how did it come to this? How did it come from me offering them a long-term, long, happy union to friction, arguments, competition, challenges, problems, serious problems coming from nothing and I've got a feeling you're sitting there thinking I haven't even done anything wrong and I think you're right I don't think you have done anything wrong you haven't done anything wrong it's the way that your person's dealing with all of it that's what's wrong um because the universe gave them the chance to escape and they haven't they they they're it's whatever's going on over here is affecting everything they're moving on to the two of pentacles which is juggling choices juggling time juggling people um you're moving on to the seven of pentacles still waiting for this to grow hoping that it will grow but it's moment of stagnation of is it growing or is it not then you've got the six of swords in between you both which is uh, the universe kind of keeping at the same level because you've got six here and a six there it's like yeah there, there's potential here but your person needs to put the effort in the third party has the three of cups reversed which is friends and family side in with the third party that doesn't always go very well and then the hair effect cards in between them both the, the third party's not ready to walk away they're not ready to walk away they're friends and families that are invested they may be pushing for the hair effect, which is marriage to me um they may be holding on to the idea of marriage their ma their marriage if they're already married or renewing their vows or pushing towards a marriage if there isn't already a marriage there um 
and their friends and family are fully supporting it. Um, I do do personal readings, they are available from my website. If you ever wonder what decks I'm using, they're listed on my website in my deck collection as well. I sounded like deck collection though, my tarot deck collection. Um, yeah, I'm going to clarify what's going on right this moment. I'm going to clarify from the five of wands, moving across and then moving forward. The third party in this is very secure. They're very sure about what they want. They're not budging, not, they're not moving, they're stubborn, they're standing their ground, they're fighting it out. They're not even fighting, they're just solid. They're just, I'm here, this is what we're doing. And you've got to think, well, how much of that is coming from your person? Because they're not, they don't, you don't get that sense of security on your own. You don't just make that up in your head. It makes me think, well, what is it your person is, is doing to make them feel so secure? So you've got the nine of voices reversed, which is self-doubt. And it's coming from this place of, I don't understand what I've done wrong here. I don't know how this is happening. Like, how is this? Why is this happening? It shouldn't be happening like this. And the three of voices reversed, which is, it's causing you a lot of pain. It's causing you a lot of thinking. It's causing you a lot of, you know trying to figure it out it feels like a puzzle that you're trying to put together um and it feels very unfair because you were offering this person a really nice connection and there is a connection between you both so your person has the five of emotions learning from the past and the ten of inspiration reversed which is a burden of responsibility now we can only have responsibility if we take on a responsibility so if they're burdened by responsibilities, they're burdened by the responsibilities that they've put upon themselves. Again, this pers this other person connected to your person, they don't have a sense of security on their own. They haven't just said, we're together, I've decided that. So that's what you're doing. Your person's had to agree to that. You know, they've had to go, okay, okay, that's what we're doing. That's I'm here doing that then. And, they, and then it feels like, your person's weighed down with the responsibility of of that. But they've agreed to it. The universe gave them their tower moment. And instead of embracing that liberation and being set free from this connection, they didn't take it. They should have took it, but they didn't take it. And that speaks volumes. That's a choice that they made. The universe was like, Boom, right, you're out of this situation, run free and... And it feels like this person went back and they made that choice to go back. So if they don't have time to themselves, if they're feeling weighed down with all of the things that they have to do for this other person, that's a choice that they've made. And they may say to you, oh, they're just making me do everything. No, no one can make anyone to do anything, especially when the universe has given them a chance to have a clean break from it. They chose not to. They chose to go back. The third party held on and your person was like, Oh, okay, then. Instead of the third party holding on and, and your person saying, no, I'm going, that's the end of that, goodbye, block, delete, blah, gone. They had a choice. They, they did have a choice. <clears throat> so the Queen of Inspiration reversed, people interfering, and the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles, Three of Materials, same thing. Um... The third party is planning for the future. The queen of inspiration is family and friends interfering. Um, yeah, your person's choosing to stay there. So you've got the five of inspiration between you both and the queen of materials reversed, which is insecurity and conflict. And again, petty drama. There's you are looking at it thinking what have I done wrong I want to tell you right now you've done absolutely nothing wrong your person's made a choice and it isn't you that's done anything wrong not at all on the eight of ones we have the muse of materials and we have the eight of emotions 
third party the third party all their friends family they're all trying to fix it your person's going along with it at the moment yeah it feels like they're wasting your time they had their moment they had their like it's almost like they're in prison and that the doors were wide open there was a bus full of money for them to go and start a new life and they didn't they chose to go back to the third party whoever that is and it feels painful and it feels stressful for you because part of you is blaming yourself and you shouldn't blame yourself. You offered them a very nice connection, a very nice future and the universe opened it up for them to take it. Your per it feels like your person jumped ship and then went back and then, then the third party is like, here's the lifeboat, come back and they're like, all right, I'll come back then. They made, that's a choice they made. No one made that choice for them. Oh, I'm getting irritated. Seven of materials on the seven of pentacles, the same card, and seven materials reversed. You're like, what seeds am I going to carry on nurturing and what am I abandoning? Um, And then we've got the hair of fat, and the hair of fat's over there. Yeah. Yeah. Person's got the three of emotions and the nine of emotions reverse, superficial and fake. They're going with the friends and family. They're doing what the third party wants. And by doing what the third party wants, it's them doing what they're, cho they're choosing to do that. Even if they say, I don't want to do this, but I'm doing it, they're still doing it. Ace of voices reversed and the tower. That's interesting. The ace page materials. And the eight of voices reversed. Yeah, the eight of voices reversed is denials, um, isolation. The third party in this has got a tower moment. I've got a feeling that they're suddenly going to become very aware of everything that's been going on. Um, especially with the amount of friends and family that are involved. I've got a feeling that right at this moment, the Queen of Inspiration reversed is digging for information and they're going to get presented with information. And uh, the third party in this is suddenly going to become very aware of everything that's happened. Um... And they're not going to be very happy with it. Um, and partly your person's going to be relieved. But. Yeah, that's interesting. Seven of emotions. And seven of inspiration. You're not ready to give up. Your person's making a right old hash of this, you know. They're making a right old mess of it. They are making stupid choices and decisions. They're partly wasting your time at the moment, but you're not going anywhere. The third party in this is going to learn something that's going to be the true tower moment. Um... Because there's so many people involved. There's so many people involved in this. And it's not on your side. It's on, on the other side. And at the moment, you're looking at this thinking, what have I done wrong? You've not done anything wrong. And I'm going to keep saying, you haven't done anything wrong. Um, your person was given a chance to jump ship. They jumped, they jumped in the water and then jumped back on the ship again. Um, and I would just say to you, if over the next few months, your person suddenly appears for you, ask yourself, is it them that made a decision or where they pushed? Because there's a difference between someone walking out of a relationship, ending a relationship to come to you, and someone being pushed out of a relationship and coming knocking on your door. Because to me, that feels two different things. You offered them. You offered them a really decent relationship and the universe supported that but your person jumped out of this and jumped straight back in again and I've got a feeling they're going to come towards you once they've been pushed out of this and if they have to be pushed out of this to be with you 
they never made a choice to be with you. They made a choice, but then they went back. They made a choice to be with you, but they never made it to be with you, if that makes sense. So then I'm thinking, well, if this person's friends and family find out information that no longer supports this connection, which then pushes your person out of this connection, what are you then? Are you just a ticket for them to to an, a life? And did they go back there because they're more better off over here than they are over there? I'm I'm just a bit cautious. I don't like that. <clears throat> they had their ch they had their chance to pick you. They picked you, but then they went back, and that was a they picked they picked you, but it didn't quite make it. And then they chose this. And so them to get pushed out of this and then come back towards you. I don't like that. You may be like, yeah, no, that's great. I'm going to get them. But then I just want you to think. If so, then if they, they never get pushed out of this, would they stay in this forever? Would they do that? Because it's the third party here that has all of the control here. And so your person puts all of the control on the third party. So they choose to be there. They choose to be there. And what is it? When they have nowhere else to go, they end up on your doorstep. I'd rather you have someone who, when you offer them... <laughs> When you offer them a long, happy commitment, they see the worth of that and they they take it straight away. They don't have to get pushed to you. They they come, they pack their bag and they walk to you. Um, <clears throat> I've got a feeling your person does what is ever best for them. Even if at the moment they're saying to you, I've got all of these things that I have to do, all these responsibilities that I have. They're making that there's... They're making themselves out to be a victim and they're not a victim. They're not a victim. And you're you're genuinely thinking, what have I done wrong? You haven't done anything wrong. You haven't done anything wrong. You get you made an offer to somebody and they chose the other person. And when the other person's finished with them, they're gonna land on your doorstep. And you're going to look at them and you're going to think, are you here because you love me or are you here because you need somewhere to be? So that's the, the message that's here. Are they wasting your time? I think they've wasted quite a lot of your time. Um, there's someone there's someone on the third party side at the moment who's digging for information. They're going to find the information and your person's going to get kicked out. So... That's that. God, what a mess. You, you've you done nothing wrong. You've done absolutely nothing wrong. You're a very genuine, kind-hearted, lovely person who's getting really hurt by someone who goes to where the warmest bed is. I don't like, I don't particularly like the person that's in the middle of both of you. I like you and I like the third party. I like both of you. And you probably hate the fact that I think that the per third party is a decent person. Your person plays the victim. Oh, I've got no choice but to be here. Oh, I've got nowhere to go, so I've got to come to you. No, you deserve someone who's in an equal relationship, who's going to be paying the bills, who can stand on her own two feet, who can take you on dates, who worships you, who puts you on a bit of a pedestal, who remembers your birthday, who celebrates all of the things with you. Not come, not someone that comes knocking on your door because they've got nowhere else to go. I don't like that. So I'm going to end reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. If you'd like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee in the morning, request to pull a card in the comments. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, have a little question in your mind. If you see purple hearts while you're down there, there are other people that make it right to the end of the reading. So you're now part of a Purple Heart gang. This is a secret little crew. Put a like on the video if you want to support the channel. If you claim the reading. 
um, all of the things it really does make a difference to especially such a small channel as we are over here it lets youtube know hey there's something decent going on over here maybe someone else might want to receive a message i will see you soon